Next, we'll talk about database cloud services. First, I want to discuss the support timeline for 11.204. This is for the on-premises version, and you can see that by end of 2020, the extended support ends. In cloud, we recently gave an extension to the support on 11.204, so you now get extended support until end of March 2021. After that, you have to buy market-driven support, which you can do until December 2021. But after that period, you can no longer run 11.204 databases in OCI, so you better start planning your upgrades. Let's talk a little about the various cloud services that you can use, and we'll start with the virtual machines. Now, this is our entry-level offering, and it comes with a pre-created container database. You're not allowed to drop or change the container database, but you can create as many PDBs as you want. The OS, the grid infrastructure, and the database can't be upgraded. So if you need to upgrade the database, it has to be moved on to a new VMDB system, and there you can conduct the upgrade. Next is the bare metal. This is our mid-level offering, and you can create as many CDBs as you want. In those CDBs, you can put as many pluggable databases as you want. You cannot upgrade the OS or the GI. So if your grid infrastructure doesn't support a database version that you would like to use, you have to order a new bare metal system and move the database. And you should also be aware that all the container databases running on the same bare metal system must be of the same database edition. And finally, we have the Exadata. Now this cloud offering runs on the world's best database machine, and you can have as many CDBs as you want, and you can create as many PDBs as you want. So this is a really flexible option. If you're using VMs or bare metal systems, you should be aware of the database images functionality that was recently added to OCI. This allows you to bundle your Oracle home with release updates and one-offs that matches your exact requirements. So let's see how you can do that. On the DM systems page, click database software and create a new one. You give it a name. And you specify the database version and the release update. And you can specify as many one-off patches as you want. Then you create the image. And once it has been created, we can try to create a new DB system and use that image. Simply on the database information tab, change database image, choose a custom image, and you'll find the gold image that I just created. Now this is a really handy way of getting all your software bundled correctly, including all of your one-off patches. You can use three PDBs without having to pay for the multi-tenant license. This applies in the cloud as well. You can set the max PDBs uh, in a parameter to three, and that will ensure that you can't create more than three PDBs. If you're running on an Exadata, or if you're using the high performance or extreme performance edition of our cloud offerings, you can create up to 4,096 PDBs. Also, regardless of whatever cloud service you migrate into, you will have TDE tablespace encryption as part of it. When you move data into the cloud, encryption is a must have, and that's also why it's part of any of the offerings in OCI. Also, when you use TDE tablespace encryption in OCI, you are allowed to use the isolated keystone mode, which you can use in container databases for enhanced security. But you should be aware that as of now, the OCI tooling doesn't support the use of that, so if you enable isolated key stores in your container databases, the automatic backup, for instance, won't work properly anymore. If you need to catch up with TDE and encryption, I suggest you have a look at our blog post, which goes over the basics for encryption in the cloud. And also you should subscribe to the Ask Tom Office Hours, where our security team are making really good presentations and have made good introductions to TDE. Like with the autonomous database, you should keep an eye out for the Cloud Pre-Migration Advisor tool, which should become generally available soon. 
It can also give you good advice when you're migrating into database cloud services.